what is APM. By now we understood that why basically mobile testing is required and where basically the uh, automation of mobile uh, application comes into picture. So now we will understand about APM. APM is an open source test automation framework. What do we mean by that? That whenever we try to automate the uh, scenarios, test scenarios using uh, any automation uh, scripts, in that case, what basically we need, we need a framework or a tool which will help us to interact with the mobile elements, right? What do we mean by that? For example, you have an application, right, called as LinkedIn. Now you uh, want to open the LinkedIn application, you want to log in and check that the login has been successfully done or not. In that case, you need the help of uh, some frameworks or tool which will help to interact with the application in the mobile device and perform the action. For that, basically, uh, we need a framework, right? And APM used to provide that framework and that too it is a open source. That means we don't have to spend any uh, money for license or we don't have to spend any uh, initial investment at least to use APM, right? So it is an open source test automation framework which will help us to automate the scenarios related to mobile testing. And it was developed by Dan Kuller as I have already mentioned. It has a huge uh, amount of uh, uh, users, uh, both you can see that in GitHub. And uh, to our surprise that it has the highest market share compared to all rest of the mobile automation framework providers or the automation tools. By this, we are just trying to explain the point that whatever options we have in the market, among all of them, APM is the most used and the most trusted one. Why? Because at, as it is already there in the market for a long time, so you will get a good amount of community support also for APM. And it, the help page and the help documents in the APM uh, website is also quite self-explanatory. If you try to read it and try to implement it, it would be quite easy. We don't have to worry about that because in the further sessions, we are going to uh, install the APM and then we are going to design our test scripts with some mobile testing scenarios and then we are going to execute it in our cloud devices and also in emulators and simulators. Okay, so next with that point, move to our next question. That is why basically we need to use APM. A small introduction I have already provided before that it helps us to uh, interact with the mobile actions. But that is kind of the minimal criteria for to be used as a uh, auto mobile automation framework or tool. But in why APM, what we try to understand, we are trying to understand that what are the benefits APM is providing, uh, which is helping us to make our test uh, automation design process more easier. Or in simpler terms, you can say what are the standout features of APM, right? If we compare it to, with the competitors in the market, then what are the standout features provided by APM? The first and the most important one is APM is cross-platform. Cross-platform support means it supports different types of mobile automation, mobile uh, operating system, for example, iOS and Android. As we all are aware that in market, almost most of the users are from these two operating system and APM supports both of them. So how we are going to benefit it out of it? For example, you are designing a scenario, right? You are converting it into a test script. So now you have written a test script for Android. So for iOS, you don't have to design the test script again from scratch. You can reutilize the steps with just minimal changes and use it for the iOS. So that is one of the real time and standout features which APM is providing us. And it helps us to reduce the automation effort and definitely the ROI of automation would be 
more better while we are using APM. The next point is APM supports multiple programming languages like Java, Ruby, Python and PHP. So I have already tried to mention all of the majorly used programming language while using APM. Though in our session we are going to uh, cover uh, APM with Java language. But see the main benefit over here is your resource utilization. So whenever you are uh, preparing a um, uh, presentation or you are preparing a POC on APM, this is one of the most important point your managers will look into, right? Because we cannot assure that always we have uh, resources of Java, Ruby or Python. But that's the beauty, right? If you have Python uh, resources also, you can utilize them to use APM. If you have Java resources also, you can utilize them to use APM. So it is a very standout feature in terms of your resource utilization and your initial investment. You don't have to always go and hire employee of any specific language to use APM. The next point is APM handles emulators and simulators along with the real devices. So here uh, we are not going to deep dive much into the emulators and simulators part. Why? Uh, because in our third session, this is our first session. So in third session, we are going to check that how basically we can set up an emulators, how we can basically set up an simulators. So those things we'll cover over there. But just to give you a brief idea about it, what happens? For example, you have a scenario where you need to execute your uh, test automation script in iOS uh, X, iOS uh, 12, iOS 13, 3, right? Three devices. Now in your uh, project, you already have a iOS X, but you do not have iOS uh, 11 or 12 or 13 maybe, right? Now the question is, is it worth to buy a new device just to execute the automation script? Because it sounds that the ROI will definitely get impacted if you invest a lot of um, your uh, resources, for example, your money to buy a different type of devices. So in that case, what people do, they usually use emulators and simulators. Those are kind of your virtual devices. Okay, emulators and simulators are nothing but your virtual devices. Those virtual devices you can easily set up on your machine. You don't have to invest money to buy new devices every time whenever there is a requirement to support a different set of, uh, of device which is not present in your device form, right? So this is a very nice thing, okay? Because uh, it's in realistic world, it is not possible to buy all the devices, right? If your client is saying that they are going to support four to five, five series of Android, four to five series of iOS, then maybe one or two you can provide as a real device. Rest of the three, four, you need to manage with emulators and simulators because those virtual devices comes very handy. Execution is also quite smooth. Yes, there are some pros and cons of using emulators and simulators, but our point is not that. Our point is that APM is giving us the flexibility to use emulators, simulators and real devices right so you don't have to worry if you are in a small organization or if you are in a bigger organization you have device or you don't have device you don't have to worry about that you can in fact as op uh, apm is open source and emulators you can create on your device so in fact without any real devices also you can create a poc right don't worry about that we will cover it thoroughly in the third session right next point is apm supports automation for all apps okay okay so APM supports automation for all this type of app. But the thing is, first we need to understand that what basically we mean by native app, hybrid app and progressive web app. So in simple terms, native app is something when we design our application specific to operating system. That What do we mean by that? That means when we are designing for Android, we will use platform specific language, for example, Java. When we are designing for iOS, again, we will use the platform specific language, for example, Objective-C or Swift. So basically those apps are designed in that way, which are specific to their operating system. And some examples of native application is like your uh, Facebook, right? Facebook is your native app. 
but what happens in hybrid applications in hybrid applications there is no platform specific language right but in fact they use normal web app technologies web app technologies means your css html right they use those kind of language to design their applications right but one thing you need to remember that hybrid app also look wise it will look pretty much similar to native only a typical example of hybrid app is twitter right so twitter is your typical example of hybrid applications now what happens in progressive web applications in progressive web application it is also quite similar to hybrid but there is a big difference over here uh, it is kind of cross platform web applications what do we mean by that cross platform web application apart from this cross platform uh, web application technology one of the best thing about progressive web app is you can use it without internet also it can be easily searchable in google search you can directly install it from google search you don't have to go to the um, app store for it right and the performance is also quite better in progressive web app a typical example is your flipboard applications okay so hybrid app and progressive web app is pretty much similar but yes using it without your uh, kind of uh, internet and you without uh, using your app store is kind of features which usually stand out and there is also saying that the future is mostly related to progressive web app but let's see how this one will means progress in future but yes our topic main topic is apm and apm supports all these three kind of applications right your native applications hybrid application progressive web application though as a tester you don't have to deep dive into it much because you will get your respective ipa or apk right for testing and you will just use it for your automation right but having knowledge on this a bit will definitely help you to understand more when you deep dive or participate in the architecture calls right when we have architecture calls you can provide your inputs also if you have a brief idea on those different type of application